Ashio, welcome back. You're still watching TVC Breakfast. Now, the House of Representatives has summoned uh, the Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Baba Tunde Fashala, to appear before it. The appearance is for breach of parliamentary privilege and public incitement regarding the alleged inserts made into the 2017 budget. Members of the House of Representatives have resumed after a two-week break, and the first thing they did was to observe a minute silence in honor of the late Maitama Sule. Things that will promote the unity, peace, happiness, and prosperity of Nigeria. Amen. After that, a lawmaker from Adamawa who spearheaded the debate over the alleged comments of Fashola and the chief whip argued that the rights of the National Assembly has been breached. The issue that he said in National Assembly, these lawmakers had stuck and worrisome knowledge about the budget of his ministry before altering several of the allocations in the 2017 Appropriation Act. I therefore pray, Mr. Speaker, that this House, if you will, form an ad hoc committee to summon the Honorable Minister without prejudice to his right of, uh, of uh, with his right as a Nigerian to speak his mind to summon him to appear before a committee of this house or ad hoc committee of this house to answer on the breach of privilege of this house and the incitement of Nigerians against their elected representatives. He has succeeded in breaching our privilege individually and he has also breached our privilege institutionally and collectively. His statements, like the mover of the motion has said, are tantamount to inciting the general public against the institution of the legislature. This is a breach of our privilege. Mr. Speaker, by his actions also, he has also succeeded in undermining a, a comprehensive document that you can call the law of the land. Because 2017 budget as it is today is, is, is an enacted law passed by the two houses of the National Assembly and was assented to by the acting president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria after much debate, the House unanimously adopted that he be summoned. Other lawmakers also bear their thoughts on the day's proceedings. The comment of the Honorable Minister of Power, Works and Housing tantamounts to executive recklessness and executive arrogance in the sense that uh, the Constitution is very clear and unambiguous. The National Assembly can decide to temper with the estimate that is being brought to the Parliament by way of uh, budgetary proposals. An investigation to know from the Minister whether he actually made that statement. Uh, you cannot uh, disparage also just like that to say that we are stuck illiterate. I don't believe Fashola would make such a statement, but if he made it, then that would be quite unfortunate. The minister was reported to have accused the National Assembly of tinkering with the amount earlier budgeted for the Lagos Ibadan Road construction in the 2017 budget. Hmm. What uh, a back and forth between the legislature and the executive. executive. And their quarrel is not only with the BRF, uh, Fashola, of course, uh, the Minister for Works and Housing. They also have uh, a bone to pick with the acting, acting president. president. Well. So we're going to be looking at all of this, this big debate of our appropriation. What does the law really, really clearly say about it? Or is the law even, or the constitution even vague about it? Well, Bosun uh, Shifora is our guest this morning. He's a lawyer, and uh, he's in the best position to actually uh, educate us and enlighten us about this. Uh, good morning. It's good to have you. Now, this whole debate over appropriation, is it even necessary in the first place? Doesn't the constitution uh, state clearly who should be appropriating, who should be executing, implementing, interpreting and all of that mm. uh, basically i think this is some ego fight uh -huh. and it's got nothing to do with appropriation at all it's um appropriation is a cover-up that's been um bottled up emotions about certain things um let me put it in perspective mm -hmm. um the constitution 1999 constitution is very clear um section four says that um the legislatives have been given the powers to make laws and um, 
the laws they are to make is for the peace of the land and good governance. Mm -hmm. And Section 5 of the same 99 Constitution gives the executive power to execute whatever laws have been made and implementation, basically. Those things are clear. Separation of powers, very clear. Now, but over time, um, I, I can tell you confidently that what stemmed out of this or what, what this stemmed out of mm. was um, the issue of courting certain part of the ministry, um, ministry, Vashala is the mega minister, so <laughs> the court part of his budget. We're hearing that for the first time, that he's a mega minister. We're hearing it from that, you. That's what he's been called. I mean, you have three, three major portfolios. Yeah. That, that, that's right. Mm -hmm. So, and um, they caught part. Cutting is not his problem, mm -hmm. but what they caught out of it, they've, um, they, they had a session and everything went smoothly and they went behind to court it. That's his own argument. And apart from that, they now injected the funds court into basically constituency Primary health projects. centers mm -hmm. and uh, yes. boreholes. Are those even in the purview of uh, federal ministries? In fact, there's been argument that the constituency projects are not constitutional mm -hmm. and that term um, is like usurpation of power on the part of the legislators. But I, I, I want us to appreciate something. Mm. The legislators feel that if I do something in my community, is a cheap way, pardon that word, mm. cheap way of you know, selling myself to people, you can see, okay, Honorable this, Senator this, did this bow. In fact, I think sometimes there was some controversy in Ogu State where two senators were fighting about why did you put your name against the Or is it their thing? constitutional but responsibility to do such? Really, there is no part of the Constitution mm. that says that a legislator should do that. That's why they actually came up with a bill last year, um, the Constituency Project Fund Bill okay. 2016, so just to legitimize what they are doing, all right? But basically, their job is to make laws for the peace and good governance. But of the, the, land. the argument of the legislature is that they are not a rubber stamp. So where do you draw the line between making the laws, you know, laws for the good governance, or you know, betterment of our democracy? Well, some people would even say to you that this, you know, uh, checks and balances or separation of powers is actually good for our democracy. At the end of the day, who will be the biggest loser in all of this? I think the populace will be the biggest loser in this ego fight. Mm -hmm. The reason is this. The argument of the minister is that they, they caught a large chunk of um, the amount he, the ministry voted for, mm -hmm. the Mambila power oh. plant. Yes. And then Lagos there was Express Lagos Ibado Expressway. Mm -hmm. And I think the issue where he said that they demonstrated um, stark ignorance regarding what I, I don't think that should be taken personally he because he was talking in ignorance. context. Did he use the word ignorance? ignorance. He mm -hmm. said stark, but did not use the word ignorance. <laughs> Maybe if, lack of if understanding. I'm correct. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm correct. But doesn't yeah. the constitution allow for environment of funds really? And who should be doing that? It is the job of the legislators to look into, I mean, we've had, I mean, last year we're just coming on, we're on the heels of um, budget padding, mm -hmm. you know, pushing back and forth, ministry, legislators and everything. So coming from that, I think they decided that, okay, this time around there won't be anything like padding. Now we're not looking at padding, but we're looking at cutting, unnecessary cutting of funds from projects that the minister and the ministry feels will benefit Nigerians. Mm -hmm. Power is what drives a country. Mm -hmm. And he feels, as I mean, from fillers, you can see that, he feels that these are things that you people should look into and let's get this done and over with. You're cutting it for private things that it doesn't add up at all. Mm -hmm. That's his own argument. All right, and then uh, Fashola mm -hmm. is even angry that uh, when they made the corrections now, even though he's not happy with it, uh, the lawmakers didn't even, even inform Form his them. ministries, the departments under him, or the agencies are concerned. So where is the transparency in that? This is the National Assembly with mm. the responsibility of legislating, you know. So wh were they not supposed to be transparent in the Sin process? Sincerely, I would say with all sense of decency that I've worked at the Assembly before, though way back, a couple of years back. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I worked with the senator and I was a part of, I saw how these things are being done. It's an open thing. You come with your budget, you look at it, both parties will look and whatever they will cut right there in the open. Mm -hmm. All right, but this time around, they've submitted, they've accepted, and only for him to see that, come on, 
behind our back, you guys did this, that this is not the way. I think that's the grouse of the minister. Mm -hmm. But I think at this level, I think both of them need to come down, shit their swords and look at what will benefit the populace. Because if they go on this ego trip, Sincerely, it's you and I, because if there's no power, mm -hmm. they, they, they have the means. But isn't wonder, this where the wonder, judiciary right. should actually uh, step in to give clarity by interpreting the roles of the, the other arms of government? if you don't bring anything before the judiciary, they cannot step the in. judiciary is not going to step in or interfere. Then I think another thing we need to point out was yes. they raised, it, I think it was Senator Abdullahi, Mm -hmm. that raised the issue that um, the Lagos Ibadan was a concession and everything. That was where that Well, the minister came, came, came back to defend it and said there was mm -hmm. no public-private uh, partnership, partnership in place. Exactly. Yes. That was the issue of the ignorance. Let me permit that. Well, he made that, an allegation yes, that we don't even want that, to you That know, if you don't understand there. something, it's better you mm -hmm. ask and come and out. So, but all this one, some money name for... Look at what is on ground. Look at what will benefit the people mm -hmm. and not necessarily what privilege that somebody can't talk to you. If you showed ignorance, they have to tell you. All right, so we wonder that why then did the acting president, uh, uh, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, uh, sign the budget into law, knowing that there were discrepancies as there were, and then the minister wasn't really uh, silent about them? I think the minister should have raised that at the level of FEC, or raised that where he maybe with the president. I mean, the idea well, exactly. indication was part of the reason the, the uh, ascent was quite delayed and then eventually signed because they thought Nigerian was just uh, too angry to get uh, Sincerely, to get the there's a whole lot of things going on much, amongst these much. people. That okay, I let's, think let's, put it in, let's put it in perspective. <laughs> yes. the, the question that I asked you earlier, how far should checks and balances go as far as the budget is concerned? Now, the National Assembly says it has a power to actually override the veto of the president. Yes, um, the constitution allows it. Mm -hmm. If they get a two-third majority, they can actually do that. It's constitutional. But you see, it's not all about, sometimes it's, it's not all about um, raising doors or trying to use your power mm. to the lat, I mean, to the end. It's about looking at what benefits your people. At the end of the day, I, I, I don't know if I can make allusion to this. The issue mm. of the custom. Yes. You saw the way that thing went? Mm. It was a simple thing that could have been resolved, and you went on about uniform, no uniform. At the end of the day, the whole thing went like that. Customs are still picking people on the road. You stop you. The reason why they went there in the first place was not resolved, simply because of ego. I think, I think it's time they put down their ego. Whatever, wherever they met themselves and this got into a trouble, they shouldn't put it on us. Okay. They shouldn't put it on the populace. Uh, uh, leave your ego, leave whatever it is, and face the job that you are there to do. You're calling for personal privilege? Really, who cares? Yeah, I was, I was about to, uh, to ask that, really, that it seems that the lawmakers, and that is what many Nigerians are saying, that, uh, like you said, they are on a good trip. And it isn't just about this administration now, that it's basically because uh, the ruling party is constituted with uh, members of strange bedfellows that uh, somehow they do not see the executive exerting its authority because of course the executive is the one in charge of funds and co but you see a legislature this time around that is seemingly uh, more powerful as it were uh, than the executive do you feel so too uh, no these people are not strange bedfellows they're friends you'll be shocked that once they leave this place, most of the things they do sometimes, I think some just play to the gallery. When they leave, some of them, they don't do all this. Well, the people would think this is party A, party B. They don't do parties. They work together, their kids marry themselves and all this. And so, but they come to the floor and they, they and just... It makes you wonder if it's about personal interests or national I, interests. I think some of them just want to play to the gallery, which is not very good for the polity and it's not good for the populace. My mm. concern is you and I, Mm. Because at the end of the day, they will come, they will go, another set will come and go. But we've seen this from the days of President Obasanjo. There's always been this back, and, and, forth back between, and forth between, between the, the legislators and the executive. No love lost situation, mm. more or less, exactly. like some have described it. Now, one would, you know, think that um, look, the acting president himself is a lawyer, a respected lawyer, that a professor at law. Uh, his chief of staff, Adebaye, is a lawyer. BRF. He's a lawyer, senior he's a senior advocate, advocate, advocate of Nigeria for that matter. One would expect that the National Assembly, not to um, minimize uh, their 
qualification or, on you know, the mind. On, do you understand? <laughs> but that the National Assembly would actually defer to them as having more understanding of what exactly the law says. Now, take for example, the appropriation bill is, is an act of the law anyway. Exactly. And the National Assembly is arguing that, look, because it's an act of the law, then it is within their purview to actually appropriate or even alter the budget. Mm -hmm. So, who wins? More like, who loses? Or who mm -hmm. loses? The people. But that's not mm -hmm. even the question. Shouldn't there they be differ. some level of understanding between this, you know, uh, two arms of government? Sincerely, that's what you and I expect. And that is what is expected of them. But I, I don't, it, it's unfathomable how they go on this ego trip and it's really affecting it. Yeah, but, but, but to be this, fair, really, this to be fair, isn't this bill. even yeah. good for democracy? Because like we yeah. said earlier, there's checks and balances and separation of powers. Mm -hmm. If the legislature is too uh, chummy chummy with the executive, don't you think the people would still lose? And they're saying they're not a rubber stamp. Mm -hmm. They're not supposed to be a rubber stamp, but there should be. It's not about chummy chummy, but it's about understanding. These are adults. These are heads of institutions and homes. Now, in every home, it's, it's, every home has a mini government. You defer to yourselves, mm -hmm. particularly when it has to do with the common good of the family or of the general populace. And that is what is expected of these people. But the way they're going, I mean, you saw there was some of the controversy that came up where the aide to the president, mm -hmm. the alien president, was saying something that the vice president is saying something mm -hmm. on his own. It, does, it shows a divided house. Mm. And I feel that the earlier they come together, mop up all the things and sit down and look at what benefits the people. Because in another, maybe 18 months, they'll come now asking mm. for our votes. Mm. I think it's for the people. In to other words, are you saying that the they, fact okay, that so the appropriation bill is an act of law, does it automatically confer powers on the National Assembly to alter the budget or to add or subtract whatever they want to? They can add and subtract, really, by virtue of the law. The mm. law permits them to do that. Now, not talking constituency project now. Like, if you bring a budget, it's for the ministry to bring their budget. Mm -hmm. Then it's for those, I mean, they have an oversight function in that regard as well. Mm -hmm. To look at what you have brought. It's like, you can't just bring anything. Like, I, this is a restaurant. I've come mm -hmm. here. I just had a meal and you just brought some I have to look I have to check mm. I have to understand what you have given me vis-a-vis -vis what I took you know yeah in the meal and all that uh, from the menu now so that's the function of the legislature and they've done that right and um, it's it's within their powers to do that but at the same time they are supposed to act within level of um, reasonability. Well, the mm. minister has been summoned mm. by the uh, National Assembly. Now let's see what they are going we'll to discuss. Uh, many Nigerians are waiting to see what well. happens. And Fashil, of course, is ready to go to court. We anyway. really to hope so. <laughs> well, like somebody said somewhere, wisdom is the principal thing in resolving <laughs> this matter. And yeah. you are on the same page Thank as far you. as that's concerned. Thank Bosu, you very much. Oshifora is mm. a lawyer, our guest in the studio this morning, talking about the debate over appropriation.